The recent rise in mass shootings has schools and churches beefing up security and taking a closer look at emergency drills. Tonight, Emily Longnecker takes us inside one school safety training to protect some of our most vulnerable students. It's not something they want to think about, but after what happened last month at Uvalde, it's something the staff here at Lyndhurst Baptist Church Preschool Ministry says they have to think about what they would do if somehow an active shooter got inside. Because in Hollywood, they teach us all kinds of things, stop bullets. But Hollywood's wrong. Real talk. That's what these preschool teachers heard Monday night from IMPD about what they should do if someone came inside their school shooting. We will be talking about tough stuff like murder of children, people being shot, people being hurt. None of it hard to imagine given the recent mass shootings both at Robb Elementary School in Texas that left 19 elementary school kids and two teachers dead and another at a supermarket in Buffalo, New York where 10 people were killed and three more wounded. We do our uh, tornado drills, we do our fire drills for early childhood, I never thought that I would have to do an active shooter drill. But that's just what the director of the preschool here at Lynnhurst Baptist Church decided her staff needed after seeing what happened in Texas. What can we do to prepare ourselves? Because if you're not prepared, your mind just shuts down and you, you don't think. But if you even prepare just a little bit, then you have something. What we teach is kind of a uh, um, run, hide, fight scenario, you know, a principle. In its active shooter training for public spaces, IMPD teaches if you can get away, do it. If not, hide. Putting large items between you and this potential shooter, and then uh, the, the last thing is to actually fight if you have to. The training doesn't teach people how to fight, but how to get ready to fight. We teach. Uh, you to get into the right mindset of where if you have to fight, you have to fight. Something Renee Dixon and her staff hope to never have to do. But they're talking about it now because not being prepared doesn't seem like an option. What do I need to do? What do me and my staff need to do to protect our children? Other schools are stepping up their security to keep students safe. In Muncie, officers just participated in active attack integrated response training. They review communication and response plans while going through a simulated active shooter scenario. We can help get officers and EMS and first responders to experience that here should that day ever come. Hopefully they've already experienced it in some realm that they can kind of think about it. And in Jay County, schools have multi-layered security systems from background checks to bolted doors, ballistic windows and safe zones marked in each classroom to avoid being seen by an intruder. We move the needle. Uh, prevention, hardening and arming, everything we've talked about, we've moved it. They've even hidden handguns and staff members specifically are trained to step in as a last line of defense. If all, this, all these layers fail, we believe that someone in that school has to confront the shooter with armed force. They've also implemented the Sandy Hook Promise app. That lets students or teachers report threats anonymously. Everything from fights to drugs, bullying, or suicidal students. This is an app schools can invest in with the hope of saving lives. It's been the biggest surprise because it's worked every time. People are talking to us now. You can see all the different ways that districts are keeping students safe by heading over to our website, WTHR.com.